And I'm always listening to Mother Nature telling me, okay, this is what I need. So what we're doing here is, without me doing the whole touching, I want to be your friend kind of thing, I'm just slowly moving to the back, touching gently, nice gentle strokes, and then touch the tail and put the tail up. See it? So it gives a different uh, demeanor to him. So you're much more proud, much more happy. So I am, I am actually helping the mind to become proud of being here. Just, just the tail, not being tugged between the legs. First time I use a leash on the tail of a dog. So we're gonna hold his tail up with his own leash, just to, to, to block him from putting his tail between the legs. That's all we're doing. So he looks comfortable, relaxed. And like I always say, whatever it takes to make a dog succeed, I'm going to do it. Right here, come on. I make sure that I test drive the idea first. Yeah, hold on. Let me, let me just get him in the zone. And then we started the talking, because there we go. That's. And because the tail was up, his behavior switched. When a dog has a tail in a normal position, they don't focus on anything else. They just travel. Good, good. Slowly, without Michael focusing on walking the dog, I pass the leash to Michael. So this is like teamwork, you know, I've never done this before. Mm -hmm. So it's always the first time. We might don't look normal, but who cares? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, it's all about him. Just make sure your tension is not, not, not too tense from the okay. arm. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> look at him. <laughs> I know. It's... In the dog world, having the tail up in a high position represents high level of status. So by us manipulating the tail, we bring the brain something else to do. <laughs> I like it.